welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about something that actually plays a big role in fish activity and feeding. Um, so this is something that's really overlooked. Most people kind of look at weather. But another thing that actually you should keep a close eye on is the barometric pressure. Now first, let me tell you what barometric pressure is. So I won't get into too much detail about it, but essentially it's just the air pressure in the atmosphere. And it's measured by a tube with mercury in it, and it's measured by inches. Average barometric pressure is around 30. But depending on how high, low, or medium that pressure is, the fish activity changes. Another factor in fish activity is whether that pressure is steady or if it's rising or falling. All right, so first let me talk about what normal barometric pressure looks like. So normal barometric pressure is anywhere from 29.7 to 30.4 inches so basically during medium barometric pressure you're going to have average fishing conditions uh, they're not going to bite a crazy amount but they're definitely not going to stop biting altogether either it's just going to be kind of your normal everyday conditions you'll definitely catch fish with the right baits in these conditions now let's talk about low barometric pressure so low barometric pressure is considered to be anything below 29.6 inches this pressure will cause the fish to be less active and they'll bite very rarely. So this is probably the hardest time to catch fish because that low pressure just seems to, for some reason, make them less active and very lethargic. So you're gonna really wanna slow down your presentation during this time. Um, and a way to actually look at the pressure is to just simply type in your city on Google and then type barometric pressure. And that's just kind of how I find my barometric pressure to see what the conditions are looking like for that day. So now let's talk about high barometric pressure. So high barometric pressure is considered to be anything above 30.5. The conditions in high barometric pressure um, will be a little bit slower than average. So fishing in high pressure is still better than fishing in low pressure. However, it is still a little bit below average. So you're gonna wanna really uh, be careful about the baits you choose during this time. You will get some bites, but not as many as normal. All right, so we talked about the different measurements of pressure and how that affects the fish activity, but there's another factor too, which is obviously the falling, rising, or steady pressure. So first, let's talk about the steady pressure. So steady barometric pressure just means that you have fair weather. So similar to the medium barometric pressure, the stable pressure will kind of be the same. Good, normal fishing conditions. Uh, you can catch quite a few fish with the right baits. Um, so just kind of an average fishing day. Now let's talk about the falling pressure. So the falling pressure would mean that the weather is actually getting worse. Um, so essentially it could be right before a storm or when it's getting more windy, more overcast and maybe just starting to rain something like that so this is actually the best fishing conditions you could possibly have falling pressure really triggers a lot of fish activity because their instinct is to uh, eat a lot before a storm comes so that way whenever the storm is actually happening they can kind of take cover so if you happen to see a storm coming on your radar then i would recommend fishing as close to that storm as possible right before because the fish will go crazy at this time and you'll be able to catch tons of fish and actually click this link above and you'll be able to see one of my videos where I did just that and caught a total of 60 fish in one day. And lastly, we got the rising pressure. So the rising pressure, similar to the falling pressure, is directly related to what the weather's doing. So instead of the weather getting worse, it's actually getting better with rising pressure. So this is after a storm or after a really cold front, it's starting to get warmer, something like that. So just improving weather means rising pressure. So rising pressure will be similar to high pressure, uh, which means it basically is gonna be a slightly below average bite. So the fish are not very active, but you can still catch them with the right baits and a little bit slower presentation. So if you're looking to catch a lot of fish, go ahead and look at the weather and you'll see a storm coming hopefully and if you do see that just fish right before that storm pressure ideally should be falling right before then uh, that's going to be the best time to catch a lot of fish get a lot of bites um, and if you don't have a storm the next best thing would be average barometric pressure or steady pressure or both uh, that just means that the bite is pretty good but not as good as before the storm so those are the two best times to catch fish 
Now the other times which are the high pressure or the rising pressure are probably the slowest bite. You can still catch fish during these times but with that in mind you're going to want to slow down your presentation a lot and just be ready for a lot less bites than usual. So yeah that's pretty much it for this video. That's barometric pressure something that a lot of people do overlook but it actually does play a big role in fishing. Uh, so thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.